Musafriye, Food and Agriculture Minister, says I saw now of the person with the president. <laughs> <laughs> And with that, President Akufado confirmed the presidential ambition of his childhood friend, Dr. Uswe Yakutu at the Menshia Palace. The Menshia Palace holds tremendous significance for Dr. Efriye and his political forebears. It is within the confines of that hallowed ground that his father, the Otunfuas linguist, the celebrated Ochiame Bafo Siakutu, announced the formation of the National Liberation Movement, one of the foundational parties of the current MPP. With such ancestry, it was only a matter of course that Dr. Osef Yakoto would take to politics. As a young man, he copped a doctorate degree in agricultural economics from the renowned University of Cambridge and spent years putting his academic training to practice at the International Coffee Organization. When academics and practice comes full circle, a foray into public life is somewhat inevitable. He initiated his concept of foreign branches of the NPP from the, from the UK at a time that the ban on politics was going to be lifted in 1992 and I was acting as his secretary. In 2008, Dr. Akoto Efriye entered parliament representing Kwadasu for two terms in parliament. After serving as the Minister for Food and Agriculture in Ekufuado's administration and spearheading the planting for food and jobs, he believes the time is right to climb up the highest office of the land, but what really is his vision for his party and the country? Given the importance of, the, of agriculture in terms of its potential to transform this country, that we should give it special attention by making sure that at least we reach the AU target of allocating 10% of our budget to agriculture. To do that, I will set up an agricultural management team. The president will be presiding over the agricultural management team himself. Political scientist Dr. Kwame Asasanti says leading a country like Ghana with its hydra-headed challenges goes beyond promising an agricultural revolution. We need a more complex, a more superior argument relative to this. That you cannot discount the fact that agric is the mainstay of this country. But there are so many sectors that they ought to be looked at from their own perspectives, like the economy. Even though agri dovetails into it, and then the vice versa is also true. But we want to, you know, separate them and then deal with them uh, separately. He beat five others in the superdelegate election in August and is banking his hopes on another of those from a much expanded electoral base to clinch the ultimate. But does the data support his hopes? Musa Dankwa leads data and research firm Global Info Analytics. The super delegates are unique kind of uh, delegates. I mean, they are easy to reach delegates. You know who they are. They are phone calls away from you. So those ones are quite manageable. But when you're dealing with the grassroots, I mean, polling station executives, that's where the, the battle will be fought. This is in the first poll. In several polls, even zero. So they are not competing at all. Will the MPP delegates invest in the Koto Legacy Project? Will Ochame's son gain blessings from his father's sweat from a party he knows all too well? The early science and research says no. Akoto's hopes says yes. November 4th will provide definite answers. Duke Wentzel Poku, TV3 News, Accra.